Hello my divine feminines, welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a general message for my divine feminine. So if you're a feminine and you're on a spiritual journey, um, then welcome. If it resonates, I do appreciate if you subscribe and share to those who you think it will resonate too. Alright, this is a timeless reading whenever you get this and whenever you feel drawn to this reading. If you want to book a personal reading with me, the link will be down below for you guys. I'll be using my Tarot Heart deck and my Pisces RS deck, my favorite. <laughs> um, and let's get these messages out. I don't know why I keep on hearing water. Um, either you need to go near water or you need to drink a lot of water. Okay, some of you guys could be Pisces. Some of you guys could be a water sign in general. Um, either way it goes. Divine Feminine, you need to drink a lot of water and stay near some water at least once a week to get connected to spirit a little closer. Spirit Universe, higher power, what do you have for my Divine Feminines? Oh, see, I told you you could have been a water sign. We have Princess of Cups. This is also a self-care energy. You taking care taking care, better care of yourself and you see how she has this cup that's why I said you need a cup of water you need to drink some water and she's near water you need to um, get connected to spirit near water maybe take a vacation to the beach maybe go to a near lake by yourself solitude some people don't like being alone somebody's working on it I feel like this is what you're working on divine feminine is being alone, learning to be alone, and worrying about yourself, taking care of yourself. Yeah, with the lover's card and the five of wands, you separating yourself from people that you no longer feel connected to. And you see that person right there, he got his hand out like, why? So these people are confused. They think that you are um, doing this to be malicious because we do have the five of wands. And you see how the eyebrows are frowned up? He's like, but you, I feel like there's a lot of snakes in your circle as well. And I feel like you feel that energy. And that's why you're separating yourself. And maybe you could be focusing on yourself. Or needing to focus on yourself if, if you're not already divine feminine. Yeah, I feel like things are coming to light. You're opening your third eye. Be careful with the fluoride. You might want to get some get some natural toothpaste. I feel like um, your third eye is clogged up. It's coming out, but somebody's smoking too much. I feel like somebody's smoking too much to suppress the pain. That's not the way it go. That's not the way you. That's not how you should use that smoking. Smoking that weed. And if you're not smoking weed, you're smoking um, nicotine. You might want to go cold turkey, maybe. We have the four of pentacles. You need to start saving. I feel like maybe you're spending too much on something unnecessary. Some of you guys need to start buying flowers for yourself. That's part of your self-care routine, buying flowers at least once a week, showing yourself love. I feel like I said, I feel like you were so used to being around a lot of people, um, and you forgot all about yourself. I feel like maybe because you didn't want to learn about yourself, maybe you were afraid to know who you are. It scared you. Your third eye was open, and you maybe was hearing sounds in your house, and it scared you. But awakening is a process that needs to be done with the star card you're definitely healing I feel like you're pouring out the old to pour in the new you're pouring out the old and you got your cup up for the new you're definitely healing you're learning new things you're studying and your eyes are becoming open you're starting to learn the truth about life it took some time but you're coming to your senses. You're awakening. 
you need to leave some toxic stuff alone i feel like maybe there's some toxic products in the home or you're putting toxics in your body or you're eating a lot of junk drink a lot of water clean out your body do a detox definitely save with the nine of pentacles definitely save your money I feel like you're capable of making a making a lot of money, attracting a lot of money, manifesting a lot of money. You probably already do manifest a lot of money, but you also spend it too fast as well. It's time to prioritize. Yeah, the chariot, because maybe you're planning on moving, moving out of your mother house or somebody or a roommate. You're, you're planning on being by yourself, being independent because you need some solitude. You're big, This is a spiritual awakening for you. Spirit is trying to help you with the judgment. They give you resources, but maybe you spend it too too fast. And they're saying that's not that's not what you should do. Divine feminine. Princess of Wands. Why the Princess of Wands spirit? Okay. Maybe you like a lot of attention. But now you're starting to get tired of, you're getting bored. Maybe when you get bored, you want attention. And this this messes up your journey because it's like back to step one. Maybe some of you guys have sex to feel loved. Because I do have the Six of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. For, and that's for some of you guys, not everyone. And if it's not that, if it's not that, it's you're getting tired of the attention. You're not seeing anybody on your level. But some of you guys need to be celibate. Because there's a lot of people around you that are no good for you. Take a spiritual bath. Like I said, detox. You gotta detox that. That toxicity out of your body. Because when you have sex with someone. you were, And they might have been messing with other partners. You got all that energy in you. And it got you kind of conflicted. and got you triggered. Yeah, because with the devil card, this is overindulgence of maybe sex or eating too much or too much junk. It's something you need to cut out. You do it when you're bored. Whatever it is. Spirit say you can't can't do that. You gotta work on balance. I feel like maybe somebody is having sex with someone they shouldn't be having sex with. And they know this. If you know this, you gotta cut it out. If it's no good for you, you gotta choose you over anything. Yeah, it could be with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody who don't really pay attention to you unless it benefits them. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Only when it benefits them, they come around. You gotta really take a leap of faith at this spiritual journey that you're on. Divine feminine. I feel like this is for my one for my divine feminines that are in the beginning of their journey who trips up and go back to plan not plan step one because you know they and it's it's normal, y'all. It's normal. You know, I've been there. But I didn't have nobody guiding me. You know what I mean? You know, it's tough love around here, especially in the beginning. You know, you gotta be honest with yourself. And you have to accept the honesty. Okay, because if you're getting triggered by what I'm saying, you need to work on what is bothering you about it because it's true. You know what I mean? You have the tower card and the justice. Maybe somebody got, I don't want to say bad karma, but it was just like something spirit had to do to get you to see that you were going down the wrong path with the ten of wands. They had to open your eyes because maybe you were seeing red. You were seeing your lower vibration and you could not control yourself or you cannot control yourself. And now you're wondering like, why is this all happening to me? But this is happening for a reason with the nine of wands. To get you on your path, the hermit, to get you alone, to go within yourself. Because you're looking everywhere around for everybody to help you, but only you can help you. All the answers are within you. 
You have control of your life. Nobody can control you but you. Maybe there is a male that is mentally controlling you, maybe physically abusing you, maybe really got you in your head, but you really have to awake to this divine feminine. You have so many blessings waiting for you. Stop thinking it's working against you. It's trying to help you out. Spirit is trying to help you. But you, you got to stop being hard-headed. They're giving you these blessings and all you keep doing is going back to step one. That's a spit in their face when they're helping you, when you call on them. When you call on the most high. Okay? Because you are chosen. But they need you to wake the fuck up. Told you, though. They hurt fine. Most high is trying to guide you. Spirit's trying to guide you. They're trying to teach you. And I feel like I'm not saying that you are this bad person. Because I do see you doing the work. But like I said, I see you going back to step one. Okay? Some of you guys could be um, separating yourself and finally realizing this while you're watching this. And it's really hitting you before you even watch this. But this could be just confirmation for you. But if it's not, you really need to change some ways about yourself. You some priorities. Like, you need to wake up in the morning and meditate, work out, drink your tea. Nettle tea. Drink some nettle tea. Or detox tea, some yogi tea. Whatever tea is your favorite. And you need to really reflect and go within yourself. Do some yoga, stretch sunbathe get connected to spirit some way somehow so they can guide you throughout the day when you go to bed sage pray pray that they um that you remember the dreams that you have the messages that they're giving you some of you guys are astral projecting okay don't be scared that's a blessing not everybody can go somewhere outside of their body it's a blessing what they're trying to show you. they taking you to 5D. I told you, they're taking you to 5D with the magician card. Everything that you, you can manifest and find all the magic within yourself. But you have to accept this. Okay? Not everybody can come with you. Just let them go. They're karmic, some of them. Some of them are the ones who are really influencing you. And you really need some time to yourself. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. With the Five of Pentacles. Maybe somebody have abandonment issues. And they feel like they need a lot of love. They, they feel like being around a lot of people is a lot of love. But you really have to change, change your mindset with the World card. And realize that you are in control of your destiny. That in an old chapter... Start new. Cut off the dead weight. Get out your head. You feel trapped. You feel like you can't move. You feel like you don't know if you're going back or forward. But you know the truth. You just need to meditate and really sit down. Because you don't want to sit down because you don't like what you see. You don't like what you who you are right now. And that's okay. But you have to be honest with yourself so you can move forward. That's the only way. Like I said, some of you need to take a spiritual bath with the Nine of Cups to make yourself feel free. To free those energies, those negative energies that surround you. Sage before you go to bed every night. It's very important. Because when you're outside and you're working and stuff, you're around all that negative energy. And when you come home, it's weighing on you. That's why you feel tired and powerless. Because you got to take a shower. Meditate in a shower. Listen to some Oshun, some Yehemiah. Yehemiah is for change. Um, for transitioning, for shifting into the next level of your life. Oshun is for self-love that you need because you're always surrounding yourself because you feel less than. Look up the angel number 1414. Some of you guys do need to go to the beach. Five of Cups, you cry because you regret things that you have done that you're not proud of. You think you're the only one? You're not. We've done things that we're not proud of, but we have to let it go and accept it and say we are better than that and keep moving forward. You know, there's a lot of guys who, who just want sex with the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Who just wants sex. 
It could be more than one person. I'm getting the energy of more men who try to woo you with words. And some of you guys do get woo wooed with words. And that's okay. Just be truthful with yourself. Say, I'll be vulnerable and I'll be out here doing what I shouldn't be doing. Fuck them niggas. Let's, let's say period. Okay? This is sisterhood. This is sister circle. Okay? We've done things that we're not proud of. But we will not keep entertaining it. We will not entertain peasants. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hang out with the kings, somebody who could feed your soul and feed your mind. Okay, someone who offers more than sex and weed. You know what I'm saying? Drinks. Sapiosexual. That's what you need to become. Feed your mind. Feed your soul. Yeah, you have so much. That's how you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel relieved. When you do this, because then you'll be moving forward in your destiny with this bird. You'll be feeling free. You'll be fly, flying. Look up the angel symbolism of eagle. I know this does not an eagle, but there's a lot of snakes that is trying to drag you down because they know you're trying to rise up. That's why you keep going back to step one. But to a source, yeah, that's why you're so confused. Maybe your night, their day now. Your day, their night. You know, you guys are total opposites now. You and your clique or you and your person. And it's okay. They're frenemies. Okay, because they don't want to see you in. You need to block them. I told you, because they're blocking your blessing. You need to really make a decision to pack up your stuff and say, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out now. I'm going to fuck with you. <laughs> yeah, Seven of Pentacles. It's time to clean up. Clean up, woman. It's a woman who. Yeah, clean up your mess. You, you're the only person who can clean up your mess. You're the only person who can get from step one to step five. Nobody else. Don't blame nobody else. It's accountability. Okay, it's nobody's fault. For you, you to be blessed, it's going to be your fault when you're blessed, and it's going to be your fault when you're not blessed, okay? Only you can control what you do. You can't control what other people do. You got to stay high vibing. You got to stay high vibration. That's why you have to meditate daily. To keep your positive thoughts, to keep getting angel messages. Look them up when you see them. Don't not take them as a coincidence. Yeah, do not be confused. These are angel numbers that you need to look up. The, the synchronicities you need to focus on with the Eight of Pentacles. You need to focus on yourself. You see how they have that little shawl over her head and everything else? That's them blocking out everybody and focusing on their craft, focusing on their, on their life. That's you need to focus on yourself and stay strong while doing it. Only you can tame the lion within yourself. Only you can tame that inner hurt, that anger for some of you guys. Only you can control your destiny, your happiness with the Ten of Cups. Only you can bring that love within yourself. No, Nobody can come over here and love you the way you can love you. Be honest with yourself. Start journaling. 1818. Look up that angel number. Start journaling. Start writing every day. Start expressing yourself. Some of you guys like poetry. Write in poetry. You don't have to write regular. Do what makes you happy. If you're a singer, just sing it. You know what I'm saying? Sing how you feel. But always be honest with how you feel. With the Ten of Pentacles, building your life now. This is your life you need to build. Learning. Somebody need to go back to school. Somebody need to study. Somebody need to work on themselves. Look up the symbolism of peacock, but this is Oshun with peacock. So definitely some self-love. Learning about more about self-love. I told you, Empress. This is you. You can attract anything you destined to attract. Somebody's pregnant, and it's time to think about your child and yourself and not the baby father. Let's be real. If they don't come back, they don't come back. That don't stop you from being a good mother. Shit, there might be a stepdaddy better than them. Period. But if you're not pregnant, you're definitely attracting. You will be attracting. Somebody need to add mushrooms to their diet. The spirits are all around you. I'm seeing three of them. You could have three spirits around you that's trying to help guide you. But you really have to learn to love yourself. This is self-love. You will heal from any, any wounds that you are healing from. From pasthood trauma. From sex addiction. You're going to heal that. Get a, carne get a carnelian for your, for your um, solar plexus 
in your sacral chakra and get an obesidian for grounding, for your purification, to help with negative energy. Get some spiritual baths, salt. Get a white candle, light it up. And make sure you're drinking your water. I'm gonna use my Pisces RS deck. Angel number 2020. Look that up. Spirit Universe High Power. What do you have for my divine feminines? Temptation. It's time to stop being tempted. Tempted because the magic is within you. I told you the magic is all within you. Meditate. Separation. Separate from those who do not serve you your higher good. Because you are royalty. I told you spirit guides are guiding you. Because you have you need to tap into your spirituality. Embrace it. Change your perception. Change your life. Change your mindset. Positive thoughts. Because there's a completion of an old chapter. It's going to take some time with the turtle energy. But it's going to be worth it. And you're going to get abundance from this. Once you really find that light within yourself. And release those little fishies. That no longer serve you. Just go with the flow. Don't go against the grain. Just woosa. Go with the flow. Do not resist the energy where spirit is guiding you. Like when you're in water and you just float and it pushes you. Do not resist it. Just keep flowing. Okay, my divine feminists. I hope this resonates. If it did, support you, girl. And subscribe. Until next time. Love you guys.